Welcome to April's career and money video. This is for your rising sign. Yes, I said rising sign. Um, if you're watching this for other parts of your chart, that's okay. Some parts might hit, some might not resonate, but this is going to be most accurate for your rising sign. And this video here will tell you why. Um, our general readings for the month, you can see right here, love are coming. And um, the general ones are for your sun sign. So go ahead and check those out for more information. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you like these videos at all, so that when the loved ones do come out that you're alerted, make sure you hit that little notification bell as well, okay? So this month we are looking at what is the general career and money theme for you? What do you have to look forward to this month in career and money? Um, what is going to be your biggest annoyance? What do you need to look more closely at? And then there's just some general overall guidance and advice for your career and money situation this month, okay? Aquarius. What does career look like for you this month? And then what does your money situation look like? Okay, so career, um, for those of you who are trying to like balance, you know, maybe homeschooling your kid, trying to um, remember when to send in your unemployment forms, for those of you who are trying to juggle your job if you have it with other responsibilities or whatever, they're like, hey, you're doing a good job. You have a lot going on. Even if you don't have a lot going on because you're not working, you still have a lot going on, a lot of other responsibilities that you need to juggle. Keep up the good work, you can do it, okay? You have to fully believe in yourself because the universe, I do, like other people, we all believe that you can. So here's the thing, you might not be feeling particularly comfortable right now, even if your job is still going, even if you're not furloughed, okay? Um, a lot of you are just kind of like, ugh. Um, but what you have to look forward to with that is like, okay, this time isn't over yet, but what it teaches you is what's really important to you. What is the most meaningful thing to you? What makes you really happy? And then based on that, we get new ideas, maybe even new job opportunities, new business ideas and things like that. Now in April, you wanna keep these to yourself, but you do wanna start thinking about anything that comes to you like that. And for a lot of you, it will come to you through your intuition. Like you might be kind of clearing your head, like cleaning a countertop or taking a shower and poof, you get this magical idea. That's your angels, your spirit guides gifting that to you. And that's something that you wanna look into and think about, but don't tell other people. I wanna say it was Taurus who also had something similar this month and maybe even Cancer, that it's like, keep it silent for now, but start independently thinking about this or working about it or at least write it down, okay? Um, now in regards to your money, what does it look like in general for you this month? They're saying, now some of you are going to be um, kind of happy because you have more time to yourself. <laughs> And um, whether your financial situation or go is good or it isn't, the time like, you know, distancing from other people, that alone time is really good for you, but you're gonna wanna use some of that to manifest what it is that you want for, in a financial regard um, this month if you can, okay? Like we don't get anything if we don't ask for anything. And so in the description box below, um, if you look on, it looks like this, there's a little article there that'll tell you some like really quick little things we can do to get our money flowing to us a little bit easier, okay? there's It's just like a blog post that takes two minutes to read. Okay, um, what will be your biggest annoyance in regards to career and in regards to finances this month? So for career, some of you are just like gonna be fired and that's gonna suck. For others of you, you are just going to be required to deal with the way that other people set things up, okay? Um, maybe the way that you would organize or schedule things or do things is completely different than somebody else is gonna tell you how to do it and it just, that it, it is what it is and it sucks, but that's just how things go, okay? Um, that's gonna drive you bonkers. Now, as far as money goes, some of you are are trying to see things from a different perspective, but all it's doing is making you more and more anxious and nervous when it comes to your money stuff. Whether you're still working and your income is the same, but you know, like you're worried about your investments or whether you're not working and all that stuff. They're saying all of these anxieties and fears and worries that we have are just lies that we tell ourselves. Sure, some of them may come to pass, but a lot of them probably won't. And so what are you stressing yourself out for? Knock it off, okay? What do you need to look more closely at? 
in career, you need to be super open to opportunities that you would love, not even thinking about how it fits in your life, not even thinking about, you know, how much money will I make? And, you know, is this a good business strategy or isn't it? Well, guess what? We're going to be in a totally different economy after things change. And so what might have worked before might not work in the future and vice versa. What didn't work before might now in the future. You don't know. So be focused on what it is that you love as far as career goes, because where love flows, then money flows also. It's an energy and you can't not eventually make good amounts of money if you're doing what you love. It might not be the way that you initially anticipate. It might come to you through a different um, means or a different opportunity than you initially thought, That, but the universe works that way. It's going to give you money if you're doing what you love, okay? so eventually maybe not right away but it always does flow that way because it, that's how energy works and money is an energy or at least our relationship to money is an energy so um what they're saying is you know do what you love and then when it comes to money they're like it's okay to take a defensive stance you know to try to put things aside save be smart with it and stuff like that but you also have to be thinking about how you feel about money. And so that um, blog post that I read, really important that you read that to make sure that your vibration is right surrounding that, okay? Any other guidance or advice for you? Um, yeah, so they're just like, hey, for those of you who get fired or um, are furloughed or whatever, let other people know because they wanna help you or they wanna give you an opportunity and maybe this is an opportunity to do something that you enjoy more or maybe it's a side hustle that'll last forever, okay? Um, but you wanna let people know that. You don't want people to think that you're still going because then they can't help you out. They can't give you um, resources or things like that because other people somehow come to your aid if you let them know. So you have to make sound about it. You have to be loud about it. You have to tell people. And um, the same thing is true. Like if money is a problem, there are people who do not have problems with money right now that actually want to help you. And if the squeaky wheel gets oiled, if you don't ask, they don't know that you need it. And nobody wants to see you suffer. And people actually get a lot of pride and self-esteem and a lot of joy from helping others, believe it or not. So I love you so much and I'll see you in May.